What's up guys, this is Puka back with another game I played on the Pokemon trading card game online where my opponent has just mulliganed and he is playing a Garchomp Altaria deck. And I'm going to be using my Hydreigon deck. Now these are two of the newest decks that came out because of Dragon's Exalted. Two of the decks that received by far the most hype. You know, Garchomp Altaria was all the rave from Japan. So we're going to see how it matches up against this Hydreigon deck. Now we'll be going first. Um, I get my Dark Energy. I could Juniper, but I'm going to have to discard two Hydreigons, a Juniper, and a Rare Candy. So I'm actually just going to attach and confuse Ray turn one. Now my opponent is TH68, I believe, 68. Sure, let's go with that. Um, and I do confuse his Gibble, which could end up being sort of relevant. You never know, a Sand Attack could have hurt me. But uh, right off the bat, things are looking uh, pretty solid for me. And I'll get that Rare Candy Hydreigon turn two, unless he ends me. Then I will not. Well, possibly will not. I'll have to get a whole new hand. But at the very least, I should have a decent setup. But there's the end. Alright, so never mind. <laughs> anyway, let's just kind of talk about this matchup. Uh, a lot of people really don't know how this matchup plays out. But one of the things that Garchomp Altaria is most vulnerable to is Pokemon Catcher. The Altaria only has 70 hit points, and if you can take those out of play... All of a sudden, Garchomp's just doing 60 damage at a time, and it's not really that good. So we're going to see if I can pull out some victory here. Uh, I'm going to Juniper away all that stuff, because I don't want any of it. I can uh, Junk Hunt for the Dark Patch, of course, but other than that, I don't really want anything. And I get a level ball. I'm going to grab the, um, I can grab the Zwilus, so that I can get my High Dragon out next turn. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm really in no danger of being knocked out because it's the f one that's weak to fighting, not weak to dragon. But anyway, this matchup is kind of strange. On one hand, you think, okay, you can just catch the Altarias, knock them out with Darkrai. You can just max potion all day. What's the big deal? You're going to win easy. The reality is, they can catch out your Hydreigons, which are stage 2s, and just knock them out with Mock Cut. Because you're weak to Dragon and the Altaria gives it the plus 20. So what's going to happen in this matchup is it's going to be a battle of Pokemon Catcher pretty much. He can take away my Energy Acceleration. I can take away his Damage Addition, I guess. I don't know how to really put a term on that, but yeah, uh, <laughs> his Damage Adder, sure. Um, I can take that away. And we'll see who actually comes out on top in that kind of a battle. It's kind of confusing, actually. And it can go either way. It can come down to, like, N in the late game. And a really max potion, that kind of stuff. So, uh, people tend to think that the High Dragon deck just has an advantage because Darkrai is so good at knocking out Altaria. But I think this is about as close of a matchup as you could think of for the current format. This has to be about 50-50. So my opponent does get a Gabite out on the second turn. He'll be able to Dragon Call. He goes for an Altaria. It's an interesting choice. He maybe could have gone for another Gibble. So next turn he could just start Dragon Calling all over the place. Once you get one Gabite, it leads to another one, which leads to another one, which leads to Altaria. And then you pretty much just get all set up once you get the Gabite. It's actually really cool. Uh, but I guess he's using Call for Family, so uh, Dragon Calling... For a Gibble would have been kind of silly. And he's just going to go grab uh, another Gibble and a Swablu. So I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway, right here, uh, I can get my High Dragon out this turn. And I can um, Night Spear. Or I can use Junk Hunt to get Catcher back. So it's going to be weird either way, whatever I decide to do. Um, I decide to get rid of the N because my opponent might not have much. And then I'll attach the blend here. Uh, I probably should have just discarded the blend, to be honest, and then use the dark patch. Because I want as few special energy in play as possible. So maybe a mistake on my part there. Not really a good idea to get more special energy in place because of mock cut on uh, Garchomp discards special energy. So you want to have all basic darks when you're attacking with Darkrai. Otherwise, you're going to get yourself in some trouble. So I'm going to level ball. 
Uh, I see that there's really nothing there for me to get. The other dino is prized. So I'm actually not going to take anything. I don't want to take the Sableye because I might have to Juniper it away. And then if I do that, I might need to Junk Hunt later, I guess, is my point. So we'll just leave it be for now. So here, instead of just knocking out the Emolga and taking a prize, I think it's better to get some resources back. I'm going to need all the catchers I can get in this matchup, so I'm just going to go ahead take a Pokemon catcher with Junk Hunt. You can afford to fall behind one or two prizes if you're the Dark Ride deck here. Just because you have the max potion to keep yourself alive and eventually you should win out. You, you can easily come back from down a couple prizes. As long as they don't knock out all of your Hydreigons, which certainly could happen, but we'll see. So here I am perfectly happy with my start. I made sure to move the energy off my Hydreigon though because he could catch her and knock that out, and if that happens, it's bad news bears. Uh, I lose the energy and my stage 2, and I might not even be able to attack next turn. So I need to be sure to look out for that. Always be wary of where your energy is placed when you're using the high dragon deck, because if you put it in the wrong spot, you can end up just, you know, losing your energy when you don't want to. And uh, if that's the case, I mean... You're not going to have an energy mover if you lose the high dragon. You can move your energy, so you might not be able to attack. So, always be aware of where you're putting your energy. Don't leave it on a spot that can just get sniped. That is my lesson for today. Alright, so, my opponent is pretty much fully set up at this point. We have two Altarias, two more Gabites ready to search for more stuff, and a Garchomp active. And there we go. This is what you're afraid of in this matchup. He plays a Catcher to bring out the high dragon. A little mock cut for the knockout. And here is where I need to start trading blows with him. And turn this into a game. So right here, uh, I want to go ahead and use a Dark Patch. Just to power up that Dark Ride, maybe I'll put the Blend on the other one. Uh, I really wish I had more than just special energy out there. That's not a good situation for me. That mock cut is going to be very annoying throughout this game. So I'll put... One dark on that dark eye, uh, and I'll use the catcher this turn for Altaria. And I could Juniper here, but again, Pokemon catcher is way too important to have to discard here. So I'm just going to wait. Catcher the Altaria. Uh, I decided to bench the Sableye, but I think I realized that's not a very good option. And oh, I actually do decide to Juniper. Hmm. Uh, maybe I would just want to get the High Dragon out, but. There's really no point in doing that right now, I don't think. Um, uh, a catcher's going to knock it out either way, but I guess I just wanted to get it out. I don't know if that was the right thing to do, but either way, that's the route I chose. And I actually made somewhat of a mistake there by not moving the energy off of my Sableye to a Darkrai. Because if he catches me now... Um, the energy will be stuck on the Sableye where I don't really want it to be. Because I'd rather have it on my other Darkrai. So I can swap between them whenever they get hit by Garchomp. Because Garchomp's never going to knock you out in one hit. It cannot hit 180 damage unless there's four Altarias in play. Which is never going to happen. If that happens, something has gone horribly wrong. And I just think you probably lost at that point. But... Yeah, Garchomp's never going to hit 180 damage, so he's always going to knock you out in two hits. And you want to be able to just retreat between Darkrai's, uh, maybe Max Potion one of them, and you always want to have Darkrai's powered up, so you can just cycle through them. That's the key to this matchup. Even if you lose your High Dragon, if you can just get enough energies with Dark Patches and Max Potion to damage off, power up your Darkrai's, eventually you should be able to win. This game has a long way to go, though. So uh, I, I still don't know who's going to win. If he gets a catcher this turn, I'm probably in a lot of trouble. So he will Juniper. And draw 7. Having that Dino prized is pretty painful. Because I can't get the third High Dragon out here. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a difficulty to move my energy around this game. So really it's just going to be Darkrai all alone. And uh, unfortunately I have all special energy on the Darkrai. So... I'm going to lose some energy to Mach Cut. 
But here we go. Does my opponent have a catcher or not? He gets another Swablu, which is important. And Dragon Calls for the Altaria. He's playing it very well. He's keeping a, a Gabite in play. So he can keep searching for more Pokemon. You don't need to evolve that right away. And yeah, there is the catcher. Is what I'm afraid of. So I'm already down two high dragons. That is painful. Um, Mock cut with the plus 20 from Fight Song on Altaria is going to do 80 times 2. That's a knockout. And all of a sudden I'm in a little bit of trouble. Um, it, it's not the worst spot in the world, but it's definitely not the greatest. So let's just power up this other Darkrai. I guess this is a good turn to play N. I'll try to draw a catcher. If I don't draw a catcher, I might just go ahead and junk hunt this turn for two catchers but I do get one off of that uh, I could ultra ball and just go ahead and dark patch I could discard the rare candy and the dark and then dark patch there's an option There's really no downside to that uh, maybe maybe I want to hold on to the dark patch though in case Sableye gets knocked out then I can have another energy attachment for free so, I don't think I need the uh, energy right away. So maybe we'll just hold on to the dark and just manually attach it next turn and save the dark patch for later because I am, at this point, I am just accepting the fact that I will never be able to move my energy around. And uh, that's a scary, scary thing to think about, but that's just the reality of it. Um, I'm going to have to just max potion and then repower up my Pokemon after discarding all the energy attached to it. I don't think there's any other way around it. So I will just play the catcher this turn. We're going to drag up an Altaria. I should, even though it's got the Rescue Scarf, which is actually pretty annoying. Um, so he'll, he'll actually get the Altaria back with the Swablu as well, which is really annoying. So I am going to Night Spirit and target down the Garchomp with 30 already. That way when that Garchomp comes out, I can just Night Spirit for 90, get a knockout, and it's gone. Uh, you want to get 60 damage on a Garchomp, that's the magic number you can hit. So where you can Night Spear. For a knockout, uh, you don't want to just keep targeting the same Garchomp over and over. You want to stop at 60 damage. And you don't want to just spread 30 to all of them. You need to hit one twice with the Night Spear. So then when it comes up later, you can knock it out with just one more Night Spear. So the bench damage is very important. That's what makes Dark Rise so, so good. But still, I'm in a little bit of trouble. Uh, Mock Cut will do 80 now that the Altaria is back and he can discard my Blend Energy which is going to make me attach another energy which is not good and I think yeah he's just going to retreat to the Garchomp and he should just Mock Cut because that's going to put me in a knockout range for next turn with either uh, Dragon Blade or Mock Cut if he gets a second Altaria out there so there's the 80 damage. He's going to discard a blend, and this is where the special energy is really coming back to haunt me. And this turn, I think I'm just going to have to retreat and junk hunt. Uh, I can certainly max potion my Darkrai, but then I'm definitely going to junk hunt just because I need to get catchers back. So let's max potion that Darkrai, and then we can dark patch the energy to it. And let's see, I can attach to that Dark Rye. And I actually hold on to the Dark Patch just in case. And let's see. Let's grab. We need a catcher for sure. There are three catchers in the discard pile. Those are what you need to knock out the Altarias and keep up. Uh, looks like I'm going to take another Dark Patch as well. So what's going to happen is I will have two energy in the discard pile if Sableye gets knocked out. If he catches out a Darkrai, uh, I'm actually just going to retreat and Junk Hunt again and probably get Max Potion. And then I'll have enough Dark Patches to power up my guys. And really, he's going to waste a third catcher. You only play four. So yeah, he's going to knock out this Sableye. And I accidentally promote the wrong Darkrai. I should have promoted the other one. Because I could have Dark Patched twice to it and then not have to worry about Mock Cut at all. So let us get another dark on that bench one. Uh, let's retreat. And we're going to get a catcher this turn on that Altaria. 
take away his additional damage. The other thing is he doesn't have a, a gab item play anymore, so he might not be able to dragon call for well he definitely won't be able to dragon call, but he might not have access to another Altaria. It's a perfect possibility. Uh, I'm just going to Ultra Ball here, thin out my deck a little bit, discard some useless cards that I won't need anymore. I can grab whatever, it really doesn't matter. Uh, I'll get a Registeel EX, it's a pretty harmless card. And then... I mean, there's still a Dark in my discard pile. I can Dark Patch this turn, I probably just should do it. Just to power up that next Dark Rye. So yeah, let's do that. You just want to play it just in case of end. I might not have, have that available to me next turn. And yeah. Alright, so that's Night Spear. And we're going to do 30 to the Swablu this time, just because he might not have an Altaria. Even if he does, uh, I could pick that off with two more Night Spears. And from here, I'm thinking this is going to be okay. I get a Dark from my prize, which is what I'm going to need for next turn. Because I actually wouldn't be able to attack next turn if he mock cuts me. Um, so this is still an extremely close game. We're tied 3-3 in prizes. But this is what can happen with the Garchomp Altaria deck. If you just run out of Altarias, your Garchomp becomes a fairly mediocre Pokemon against Darkrai. And yeah, as you can see, he's only doing 60. That is devastating. And I do draw a random receiver. Um, I actually decide to attach to the active just because he won't be able to knock me out next turn. Um, he, no matter what he does, if he attaches and uses uh, Dragon Blade, it'll only do 100 because I'm going to knock out the Swablu with Night Spear. And I get the Dino out of the prizes. I didn't use the random receiver there just because I didn't really need anything else. If I just Night Spear a couple times, I should win the game. Uh, there's one more catcher left in my deck. I want the random receiver in my deck in case he ends me. I don't really want to get rid of it. I could bench some other Pokemon. Uh, the Registeel is really the only one I would bench just because it's got such high HP. I wouldn't be able to get targeted down. The only concern then is that I don't draw Dark Energy. That could be a problem. So he's actually going to retreat that active Garchomp for the one with no damage. But what's going to happen is this game is pretty much going to come down to just two Night Spears in the next two turns. Um, I'm going to hit the active for 90 and then the one with 100 damage for 30. And then there's really not a whole lot he can do from there. Uh, there. There could be some scary stuff happening. You know, he could have like a Terrakian and an energy switch to retaliate. If he dropped that out of nowhere, uh, I would probably lose the game, to be honest. He just would steamroll me with Land Crush the following turn. And there's not much I can do about it. So that is really the one thing that could keep him in the game. Also, Max Potion would help. But looks like he doesn't have one of those either. Well, he might have it next turn. That's something I need to look out for. So I'm going to random receiver. Hopefully get something good. I don't want to play this max potion. I would rather just attack with the fully powered Darkrai. And I get an N. Um, it's questionable whether or not I want to play that. Sure, I would, you know, shuffle my hand in, draw two cards. Maybe I'll save it for a better time, though, but actually this is probably the best time to do it because this is the turn that he needs the Max Potion. If he doesn't have it this turn, then I'm going to win. So this might be the best time to play it. Uh, again, I don't want to use the Max Potion. I don't want to bench the Dino or the Sableye because those are easy prizes. I want to force him to knock out two EXs. And here we go. We're going to end for two cards. We get a Blend and an Ultra Ball. Which is perfect. So I'm just going to retreat to this Dark Rye, attach the blend. So I don't get knocked out. We'll do 90 and then 30 to the Garchomp with 100. And if he doesn't have a max potion, the game's pretty much over. Um, now he could actually retreat to that Dark Rye with 130 damage on it. That would prevent me from winning as well. Um, that would make it so I need two more Night Spears to win still. I do have one catcher left in my deck, so there is a chance I can draw that. This game is still really close, but... You know, if he doesn't draw some sort of max potion... Uh, it looks like he actually decided to mock cut. So that's actually going to be the game. Uh, I'm going to retreat to the other Darkrai. Night Spear the active. And Night Spear the other one. We'll get two prizes and we'll take this game. 
So this is a very close matchup. A couple things going differently either way could have changed everything. But in the end, Darkrai is very strong against Garchomp. Um, and just being able to knock out Altarias with catchers, being able to get catchers back with Junk Hunt, it's just too good. And it's going to give me a win this time. So I didn't even get to really use Dark Trance this game. It just turned into a Darkrai deck, pretty much. And it was still enough to win the game. So that's going to wrap this up. This is how the matchup can play out. Um, it can go either way. You know, going first is actually a big factor as well. If he attacked the turn sooner, maybe I could have lost that way. But this is going to be a very close matchup no matter what, if both sides set up. So, thanks for watching everybody. I've been Puka. This was a very close game. Thanks to TH68 for the game, and I'll see you guys next time.